Hello again, it's Priscilla Metzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I'm almost scared to make a claim that I'm going to do anything in particular. But um, I'm going to take the 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to look for my glasses. There they are. Yay! We like that. <laughs> I'm going to find glasses. And I'm going to give myself some black paint. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I'm going to try and cover part of my canvas with it. I love this part. I really love this part. <laughs> if I rest for a second, I can somehow grab a picture of that at some point in time. So, now... I'm going to wipe off my spatula along the edge. So I have paint all the way along. So when I go to cover the edges, it doesn't have to be anything other than black, I don't think. There. I'm done. No, kidding. <clears throat> Although it did just happen twice, so. Alright, so what am I going to do? I am going to do whatever I feel like doing. And taking some of the tools that I got out to play with. Let's see, either that or it's gonna be the spatula. And I want to use, just like I have been, my purple flash from Folk Art. It's definitely time to make up some more. I have a whole series of these that I'm calling Geometrics. And since I love this green gold, also color shifting from folk art, I'm going to use it as well. I keep thinking to put some of the, um, what's it called? It's a Folk Art Treasures Red Opal, and I'm not sure that it will go with that, but it might be really cool to try, just because I can. And I'm going to have some fun now in a minute, <laughs> playing with all those colors and seeing what I can make for... I'm going to grab a dish, one without paint in it, and put my black enamel from Folk Art. It's a black gloss enamel. And I'm going to dip my, my foamy thing in there, and I'm going to scrape it off. take my paint out of my way. I'm going to wish that my turntable wasn't swinging and I do have something. Where are you something? I cleaned up my studio again. Oh no. <laughs> Let's just use that for right now. I might regret that in a moment. I'm just trusting my process. I want a little more gold, and I have some gold, some other gold. Not my favorite gold. I'm out of my favorite gold. <laughs> yeah, I tried to spin it anyway. It's all right. Just gonna pick up some colors that I want. I might put some blue in there. I'm being called to the uh, to the Venetian blue from Modern Masters, which I absolutely love. Kind of want some white because I see that there's white in there and it looks good to have some negative space. But I also don't mind what I'm getting. And I can go back twice. I just did two paintings where I left the white prime background. Yeah, I know, my cup fell over again. <laughs> Par for the course at this point. 
So I'm just expecting to make some cells with the gold and some geometrics with my swipe with my swipes. And I'm not unhappy with what I've got. I haven't tried pushing much of this. That was a nice pull. If I do the blue, it's going to come in at the end. I kind of want to leave some of the little black spaces. I think it looks pretty good. I never mind not over processing everything. Just because it's supposed to be a swipe doesn't mean you can't leave some interesting areas like here. And then she's stuck her. <laughs> now I've got blue and I've got white. That one. What else do I want to do? Anything? That's kind of pretty. I'm not sure I need to do anything to that. But it never stopped me before. <laughs> so this, this foamy stuff is fun to play with. I like it. It's a really different kind of texture. It's very light. It's kind of stiff. Now if I had my gold, my other gold. Do I have any of that left? Will it come out? Maybe it will. I've also got that black and I don't have to do anything with it. I can just use it to dip. And why not? It looks like a weaving. I can put those marks anywhere I want. And I could even dip into some gold if I wanted instead. I'm just basically finding the little pieces of canvas that are showing. <laughs> and that's where I'm stamping my my tool of choice, my swipe tool of choice. It makes me think I could put all kinds of cool colors in there, though. I don't know what this looks like upside down. I just. No, when I'm working on it, I like what I see, and I'm sorry if I'm denying you the pleasure. I want some white metallic from Anita's, and I'm willing to risk it. Am I? Yes. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. I kind of want some copper, but I don't necessarily think it needs it, because I've got some great colors there. That white worked okay, and so I'm not feeling too inhibited about doing some more of it. I was being called to, to bright orange, but I'm not sure how I feel about that this, this exact moment. So I'm going to try just a little tiny piece of it and see how I feel. I don't mind it, but I think I'm going to stick with little tiny bits of it. Until I get to that edge. Ooh, that became very extreme. <laughs> Maybe I don't want that so extreme. That's a little better. I still want that blue. I think it might be a good idea to use a different card. Yes, I like that blue. Hey, I don't think I necessarily need much more of it than that either. But 
But in for penny, in for pound. I'm here, why not? Oh, I do. I like it. And the same token, I love my purple flash. Oops. I wonder if my enamel will work still. We'll find out in a second, I think. Ooh, I didn't expect that green to come up. That's really cool. It's a very patchwork thing. I think I'm going to grab my Princeton Catalyst Spatula and drag some of that white around while I can get away with the paint being heavy. So I want to make sure you guys know that um, the GAC 800 from Golden does not seem to be working at the moment to prevent cracking. So don't do extra heavy layers of paint expecting that to be the case. I want to use my spatula to add a few more colors. I think I'm so close to being done. So I love you guys and I want to tell you there's almost 90,000 of you. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you for the wonderful comments you leave me all the time. I really, really appreciate the morale boost you give me. If you're interested in more videos, please just ask me. What, whatever you're interested in, I've probably got it. I've got 1,500 videos compiled on my creative playlists on my YouTube channel. Under all playlists. Yes, I love adding a little bit of texture by pouncing my spatula. added interest never hurt anybody. Except for right now, that might not have been a good thing. Go back and pounce some more. No, nope, it's not hurting my feelings. I sometimes think I should do some diagonals, but I think not right now. You know what I do want? Ha! Uh -huh. To know I have, I have some paint I need to use up, and it is a color shifting pink from Folk Art, and it isn't my favorite color. At least the old one isn't, but it dries so nicely. I think I'm treading on dangerous ground. I can hear somebody in the audience going, "Hey, stop now!" Maybe that's my muse. I like those little squares. I kind of feel like it, if I had a pan of a dish of colors that I would be dipping into it and grabbing some. And I wonder if the orange is what I should be doing. So let's try that. I'm not sure still. I think I heard the call for magenta, <laughs> and uh, we'll see if that's right. I can't have all the colors in there all the time, but I'm loving my cells. Oh yes, you know what? That's going to make me happy. Especially with that little bit of orange. 
because I adore orange and magenta together. Just stuck my finger in the painting. Hopefully I haven't gone too far yet, I don't know. Oh, gotta have a dot. Lucky dots. I've still got that black. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to go too far. I think this is perfect. Use up my black. Add some interest. Maybe throw a few squares in here and there. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. I really appreciate that. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link. It's at no idea cost you and it helps me out when you do it. And some of you do it quite often. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Teespring clothing underneath the video has all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. I'm really glad I'm adding these squares. I love the result of adding the squares. I've got two minutes left to tell you guys all about the link tree underneath my video. It's a blue link. It has all the other links on it. You can find Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. This is really cool. I know it could probably use a whole bunch more white. And I could probably do that with the spatula. Let's see what happens. Oh boy, here goes nothing. It won't come out white because I've got other colors on there. Let's see. Maybe I'll scrape them off first. And it's really only pearl. And that is not a bad thing at all. So I love you guys. There's almost 90,000 of you. And uh, thank you for subscribing. I think I might have mentioned that. Really appreciate all, appreciate all and love all of you for uh, watching the videos longer and the thumbs up. And wonderful comments. Thank you so much. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. No, I need five. <laughs> totally need at least five. So there's 1,500 videos. I think I mentioned that too. I'm so focused on what I'm doing that I'm losing my train of thought. I'm so sorry. On the end screens of every video, I have placed an exhibition video for that month and it will show you what the exhibition video... <laughs> it will show you the monthly prize drawing winner's choices. At the end of each month, I have a drawing for those of you who want to help contribute to keep the studio rolling. I have PayPal or Patreon. And when you use them, I send you a receipt that includes what the, what the prizes are for that next month. And uh, you guys help support the production of videos. And you keep everybody happy by keeping me painting. And thank you for keeping me painting for such a long time. I really, really appreciate it. I am finished. I love you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do with my extra paint. <laughs> I probably got a minute left. I could zoom in. There's lots of nice cells in there. I think I want a couple more black squares. And now I'm done. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the gallery. Saying I love you, take care of each other, take care of yourselves. I will see you in time. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Use my email address below the link tree if you want to contact me in regard to making a purchase of any artwork. I could zoom in. Check that out, that's so cool. My focus is over to the right now, that's too bad. It's getting late in the day. So you guys take care of each other. Send me an email if you want to know anything. Ask me questions if you want to know anything. My, my paint pouring recipe is underneath the video. Do not depend on GAC 800 at the moment to uh, keep your paint from cracking. Seems to be a glitch in the recipe.